the criteria is narrow. Remember I said it's like looking for a gold needle in a stack of hay? It is because the criteria is narrow. Most products don't make it. And so whenever I give you feedback on your product, I'm always going to tell you it doesn't, it's, it's a no or a pass, this is the nicest way I can say it, um, a, as it relates to these seven criteria, and this is part of the training that I'm going to do for you, is it, it doesn't mean it won't sell in the market anywhere, it just means it's probably not going to sell in the TV market because it doesn't fit one of these seven criteria. Um, the first one is mass market appeal. Because TV is very expensive, we have to have items that appeal to the mass market. So one way of looking at it is at least one person where there's a TV. For every TV that's in every American home, at least one person living in that home needs to be able to buy that product. It's got to have mass market appeal. Um, generally products, you know, like for bicyclers, for example. Not everybody's a bicycler. Um, products for children of a particular age. Not everyone has a child of a particular age. Um, barbecue products, for some reason, not a single barbecue product is ever sold well on TV. They sell great in Westlake Hardware. They got a whole end cap full of them, but they just don't sell on TV. And the nice thing about our market is because it's using TV as a leverage from 1980s to now, all that's public domain. So our due diligence is a thing of beauty. Every TV commercial ever done by anyone back through 1980 is a matter of public record. And we can see that, we can see the results of that test, and that's part of the science of how we predict winners, is by looking at that information. Now the art of it is, what are people going to buy now? Nobody can predict that. So we don't have any experts, we just have some people with more experience than others. Solve the problem. This is the number one reason why um, I reject an inventor's idea, is because they don't present it in a way that clearly says, what is the problem it solves? You know, they're busy telling me it does this and that and the other, but what we want to know is, what problem does it solve? Because in our economy now and in general on TV, people don't buy fluffy things. They don't buy designy, cute, clever things. They buy things that solve a problem. Now, it might need to be clever and designed well, but not as its lead. It has to solve a problem first. And that's where you got to think about, what is the problem it solves? Um, the other reason is, um, oh, Nothing preventative safety also. So it got to solve a problem, but nothing preventative safety. Like I get all kinds of uh, little locks for the electric so your kid doesn't take the fork in. Not, nothing preventative safety. Little door safety, this and that. It's because safety and preventative are in negative emotion. They, and, and people just don't respond to purchase in a negative safety kind of way in our particular category. They want light-hearted, you know, let me solve a problem, wow, I need that, I want that, and I want the second one to give my friend. You know, so it's got to be positive, nothing preventative safety. The wow is big. When you make your demo video, when we talk about how you submit, you have to show a wow. It's got to be a, a before or an after. It's got to be, it was this terrible way, and now it's this wonderful way. Or it's got to be something in the movement. Remember, we're leading with a visual medium. So there has to be something in the movement, something in that video that makes you go, wow. So we're always looking for that wow. So when you're presenting your products, you got to present them in that way. The inventor has the responsibility to present their product in the most favorable way. Pricing. We talked about the 1995. Um, keep in mind, I'm going to talk to you about product scouting in a minute. If you see a product on the market in limited distribution and it's $50 retail, and you can tell that it doesn't have a lot of complex parts or a lot of extensive materials, we can probably get that thing to fit in our product line. So I would want to see that. If it's in the market already and it meets all the other criteria and it's $50 or less, because most likely that inventor is not getting economies of scale on that product. So it might be something we can work with. But if it's over 50 or it's too techy, it's probably just not going to fly in our particular category. So. Those wouldn't be good products to send me. Unique, that's important. Um, not unique, um, unique being, there's not a lot of other ways to do it. There's not a lot of other competitors out there. And unique in that it's a single skew. I'm gonna get ready to, I'm jumping to in, easy to explain. Because a lot of times, like, I looked at some different boots that one of the trade shows I was at, and this lady had tons of different boots that, you know, <coughs> solved a problem. Well, that's too many skews. 
in retail, if you're going to go to retail, the buyers that would say, oh, we want more SKUs because we want you to own a bigger shelf space, you know, so they want more SKUs. Opposite for us. We don't, we want fewer SKUs. We want, we want you to buy this one or that one. Which one would you like to buy? We don't want you to have too many choices. That just makes people buy none. So few SKUs, few choices. Um, practical and believable, it has to be a problem worth solving and that's where it gets to be subjective because even some of the videos that come in, they are solving a problem, they're a solution. We have a saying, it's a, uh, it's a, a, pro a solution in search of a problem. That's what we'll sometimes say. We'll be like, oh, it's a solution in search of a problem. It does solve a problem, we just don't agree that it's a problem that people are going to pay to solve. So that's something to think through. Is it, is it going to solve a problem that people pay to solve? Questions on that? Yeah, and wait, can I just check the time? How much time do we have? Plenty of What? Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Okay, good. Question, go. Number two, uh, the negative factor for preventing, say, does like that might include something with sort of a green sort of, or recycling, or you know, that kind of thing. Yes, sort good of question. Negative. On the green. Um, right now, the green has not done well on TV. Now, that doesn't mean it won't. I think what we're seeing is some trends going on. As of this date, there hasn't been a successful green product in our market. Um, will that be the case going forward? We don't know until we test it. So it, it, it'll change at some point. There hasn't been a successful app, combination app product either. But at some point, that'll change. Because you, you can feel it. You can see it coming. But when will it, and will it be yours? I hope so. <laughs> Okay, one there and then you. It seems like you need from the inventor a video. Can a product be accepted by your company without a video? Um, can a product be accepted without a video? The answer is yes, it can, but we do prefer a demo video. It doesn't have to be professionally made, but you know, if you could just make a little video with your smartphone, and I'll talk more about that in a minute, but just a quick little demo video of your handmade prototype. If you, if you, it's really more about the content. We know you're, you're not, it's not a production model. We don't expect it to be, but we want to see it solves a problem. We want to see the visual wow, and we want to believe that, yeah, this is something that, you know, people could buy, that it fits within these criteria. If you've got that, we can give you a licensing agreement just with that, and we'll fund the whole rest of it. I do recommend you put that video on, I think every inventor needs their own YouTube channel and you need to market. I prefer that you market unlisted. If you market private, then I can see it if you send me a special link. Um, but if you market unlisted, I need to be able to forward it to some other people on my team to get it through the process. So market unlisted, that way it's not in the public domain, but it is unlisted. Um, Vimeo and YouTube have that. The other thing about that is you see the view count. Then you'll see one view, two view. I need you know about three views to tell you no. I need six views to tell you maybe and I need about 10 views to offer you a licensing agreement. Um, so that's pretty much the numbers that we work with. You can watch that go through and you'll see. Um, I think every inventor needs their own YouTube video and they need to know how to make a good demo video. Those two skills. And those okay. views are internal. Did you have a question? No? Oh, it was here. You're okay, okay. Any other questions about the seven steps, the narrow criteria? Um, what are the last two? The last one, she said, you need two things. Oh, a, you need two things. You need a YouTube uh, account or a Vimeo account. Right. Um, and you need to know how to shoot your own demo video with your smartphone or your projector or you need to have a good friend that can do it for you. And then let me just add one more thing to that. You have got to know how to present it well. You've got to focus on the content of that video. It doesn't have to be all professional, but it does have to be well done. Okay. If you use uh, YouTube, does that break confidentiality? Do, if we use to YouTube, does it break confidentiality? We haven't had an issue with it. We have not had an issue, no. Now, it, does that make it a public domain patent issue? You would probably be a better judge of that. I'm thinking more for competitors jumping in on it oh, as opposed um, to just you. You're sending it to me unlisted, and you know we just we haven't had an issue with anybody that kind of espionage going on. Honestly, we're all so busy sorting through products. We've got a big funnel of products coming through that it's not like anybody's got time to try to go. I'm not saying they wouldn't do it because, you know, people would do every okay. kind of crazy thing. It hasn't been an issue right now. Okay, another question? 
more. When you say views, are those people that you're sending it to, internal people, or? Yes. Okay. Uh, and I will explain my process okay. as we go forth. 